The mission of the Center for Public Health Modeling and Response is to develop data-driven approaches to assist health organizations and communities to respond to emerging threats. We have over 30 dedicated research faculty, staff, postdoctoral fellows, and graduate students who have developed numerous innovative methods that are also published in high-impact journals. The center has received approximately $30 million from the NIH and the CDC for several projects to improve public health outcomes. We have all these great people that do all these really advanced statistics, but we want to make sure that the focus is always on how can we actually apply that to the world and help save as many lives as possible. I recently co-led a paper that was published in Lancet Regional Health, and it focused on the implementation of mobile health clinics for hepatitis C virus screening and treatment and treatment completion. And what we found is that people with injection drug use and people who are uninsured tend to use these mobile health clinics. So people that are typically difficult to treat, if we can get the mobile units out to them, then we can help to treat these people. Our work has substantially contributed to improving health outcomes. During the COVID-19 pandemic, we developed an informative testing strategy to allocate resources to high-risk residence halls. This strategy was implemented by our university in real time and quickly contained an outbreak that was on the verge of forcing a shutdown. We were also among the first groups to demonstrate the real-world effectiveness of the COVID-19 vaccines and showed that immunity against general infection can substantially wane over time. We also developed a statistical modeling framework to identify and prioritize communities at high risk of opioid overdose and hepatitis C virus. This strategy is currently being used by our state health department and two largest health systems to allocate mobile health clinics to the highest risk communities in our state. We integrated state level uh, data from different resources and we applied statistical models to identify the driving factors of these diseases and perform zip code level predictions. This allowed us to identify the high risk areas for opioid and hepatitis C virus. My current work focuses on the development of mathematical and statistical model for infectious disease forecasting. So we developed a sophisticated Bayesian spatial model to estimate the disease reproductive number in communities with sparse data. These models are useful for his, uh, optimizing the resource allocation. For example, sending the mobile health clinic to the most impacted areas. While my master's degree provided me with a strong foundation in statistical model building, I was more interested in developing and applying those statistical models to improve health outcomes. That's why I chose this PhD program in public health sciences. There are lots of opportunities for postdoctoral fellows and graduate students to conduct statistical uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence research uh, within the activities of the center. Most of this research is going to be kind of centered around uh, forecasting different outcomes of interest uh, to public health officials. Artificial intelligence and machine learning is being incorporated in just about every level of the research that's going on at Clemson, especially in public health and medical research. Our center serves as a collaboration hub for departments across the College of Behavioral, Social, and Health Sciences, whose mission is to help build people and communities across the state and the nation. The Social Media Listening Center gathers data from across multiple different digital platforms and social media platforms. We collect the data sometimes through uh, topic-based searches. For example, we might look for symptoms of a disease and search for keywords such as fever, rash, chills. That comprehensive, broad-based set of data in real time is some information that we weren't able to get in the past, and we can get it now as the conversations are happening. In the future, we're looking at more opportunities for how we can use it to expand it in terms of artificial intelligence as a player in these conversations and machine learning for these interventions. Our center integrates social media data, wastewater samples, and electronic health records into statistical, mathematical, and deep learning models to predict and forecast outbreaks in real time. Our center integrates our modeling output into our state-of-the-art forecasting software, which is used for real-time decision support by our state health department and health systems for outbreak response. 
a way to do that is using visualization. So um, a lot of the visualization dashboard that we are developing are really meant to take the result of our model and make them easily accessible and understandable. It is inevitable that coronaviruses and influenza A viruses will emerge and re-emerge. The long-term goal of our center is to develop methodology for early detection and containment of all high-impact pathogens. In non-pandemic settings, heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and drug overdoses are the leading causes of death in the nation. In alignment with our college's mission to build healthy people and communities, a long-term goal of our center is to mitigate the impact of these diseases.